Okay, this is Faye Bradley first uh, solo exhibition, mm -hmm. Dream Landscape and Fur. Yeah. So what's the story behind this painting? Um, so, like you said, I have two series at the moment which are being displayed today, uh, this year. Uh, so the first one, which is the most recent one, is the Dream Landscapes. And these paintings, they focus on um, the notion of dreaming and also in memory. Um, so these are subjects that I chose because I'm very, I'm fascinated with the concept of dreaming and um, my interest in art uh, as well. So I kind of combine these and my study into dreaming and artists that have used dreaming to create artwork, uh, these have all inspired me and um, I made these paintings uh, based on the idea of trying to create the intangible. Um, and my second series, Fur, which was, uh, well, this one and then these ones, um, they are from 2015. Uh, so during this time, I was uh, studying the uh, the fur as a material and um, I wanted to create a sensory experience for the viewers uh, and create like a tactile tactile experience for these viewers and I did this through mixed media yeah. so um, why choose uh, painting as your medium um, so I chose painting because um, it's actually very important for the subject matter that I'm dealing with. Um, with dreaming, I feel like color is so important. The transparency and translucency of color and also color choice uh, really reflects how the viewer will feel when they um, when they see the when they see these images, uh, yeah, and also just texture from painting is something which I'm very uh, passionate about. Okay, so, so uh, what um, or who uh, is the inspiration for your works, or as an artist? Um, okay, so well, the subject I, of my inspiration is dreaming. But artists who I'm really interested in and who actually inspired me a lot with how I paint and my color choice and my style, um, I've taken a lot of inspiration from these artists. Uh, David Hockney and Peter Doig. Uh, so both of these artists, uh, they have their own styles. Um, I. I'm really passionate about David Hockney's work and how he uses really um, kind of just very interesting compositions and the color choices he uses as well are that it's quite similar to what I'm trying to create, like an unreal landscape, but also there, there are elements which show that it, it is very much real and taken from uh, uh, and like a something that the viewer can relate to. So, so um, what's the process of making um, your dream landscape? Um, so the process behind my uh, creation, I start with um, kind of small scale studies, um, some which have actually been really successful, and the, I quite enjoy working. Uh, small to as like a starter for uh, because I enjoy painting large as well so um, before I move on to larger paintings I start with the smaller compositions and testing colors um, then I kind of build my way up and get a really big canvas and um, 
yeah, and then I'll just I'll start from there. But there's no there's no real uh, one method of doing it. I kind of it You're varies also doing depending. Like, uh, photograph. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So the I start with a collection of photographs from my from something that means a lot to me. So like a holiday where I've had really good memories. Um, and I use maybe like six or seven photos as my um, as my source, and I don't I don't like taking exact compositions. I'll take extracts of the ones which I think are most effective, and yeah, and then from there I'll start the composition, small scale studies, and then the large ones. So okay, <laughs> excellent. So how about the fur series? Um, so with the fur series, it is also very similar. Um, fur is something which I just I find it really fascinating. The texture and the um, the the um, tactile experience of like touching fur um, and just. Uh, so I, I took loads of photos of animals, like up close, kind of like studied the finer, the finer details in the fur, and um, so those are my initial mixed media drawings. And then I moved on to this painting, which was actually from a peacock. So it came from all photographs of a peacock, and I uh, extracted elements of the peacock and created this big um, study. Okay, excellent. Um, so do you think art and artists in, is important to the world and why? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think having art um, in society is so important because um, it's a completely different way to express uh, opinions and political issues and also, just using using the cre using creativity to generate um, pieces of work which can really evoke emotions from someone and uh, or like a viewer or an audience. Like I, th I think it's an amazing way to um, and a very unique creative means of um, expressing oneself. So yeah, I think it's Excellent. super important. Okay, so um, what's your experience with uh, the gallery, Michelangelo? Uh, That's me. Um, yeah, so my experience at Michelangelo's gallery was, it was amazing. Um, I think it's really great that you're supporting artists like myself, uh, who um, I'm still very new to the industry. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot about uh, setting up an exhibition and inviting guests and kind of creating just the experience of having having a solo uh, gallery exhibition is it's really exciting and I think it's also very unique that you can have it all in the space of um, your own studio like I think that's really unique and you obviously have a passion huge passion for art so yeah, it's, it definitely reflects in how you treat your artists. So, Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, congratulations.